Yo, what is happening? My name is Apton, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Play series. This is episode 13, and today we have a few things to do because it is Oct uh, it is past October, so it is November 1st at the time of recording this video, so we need to take down all of these Halloween decorations that I've put up, and we also have to... Well, we're, we're actually going to be working on a storage system. So yeah, with that said, we have a ton of things to do, so let's get straight into this video. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start off by clearing this space, so let's get this spawner out of the way, and then once we're done with that, we're also going to need to get some conveyors from Wood R Us. So yeah, let's go ahead and head over there right now, and let's start stocking up on conveyors. Alrighty guys, I've gotten all of the conveyors. Let's just go ahead and move this truck spawner somewhere else. We just need it out of the way. That that seems like a good spot for it. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to take some of these conveyors and we're going to actually place them right underneath this conveyor. So basically what's going to happen is wood is just going to drop from this conveyor down onto the conveyors down below. But I do need to figure out, hold on, let's see. Let's make sure that this is actually aligned. So let's take a smooth wall and make sure that that is in line. Yep, that's perfectly aligned. I, I was not expecting that to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and put a few more of these conveyors down like so. And just like that, we've gotten a bunch of conveyors on the road. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to somehow get this all-purpose hauler spawner inside of the conveyors because if I place it on top, obviously, wood that falls down onto this, it's going to, you know, it's not going to work exactly very well. Um, it's just going to fall onto this. It's not going to be able to be transported by the conveyors. And if I put it underneath the conveyors, it might be a little bit too low. So what I want to do is I want to have it just underneath like glitched inside obviously because that's the only way we're gonna be able to do this I'm gonna actually move this for a second but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what's the maximum that I can have this at that it won't get in the way let's just go ahead and put a conveyor at the same level yep that looks like it is the right height if it were a little bit higher then it wouldn't work so yeah that looks like the best height to have it at so it's three tiles upwards so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to move this over and obviously place the uh, the conveyors back in where they were like so and now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to stop recording because I need to get my alt in here so that I can place things so I can glitch all of these out of the way so I can place this but I can't record that because as you probably know by now my recording software does not like alt accounts especially not the Windows uh, Windows 10 app it's just really bad for recording so I'll be back and this will be glitched in side if you don't know how I'm doing this I do have a few other videos like when I made this and when I made the shop I used the exact same glitch for this we're just gonna be doing this again just to glitch the uh, the spawner inside of the conveyors so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and do that Alrighty guys, so I did get the spawner glitched into the conveyors, but I did get a little bit carried away and you guys can see that I have started work on the road. Now, if you would, if you don't know, um, 
This isn't Blackwood. I, I know you're probably freaking out like, what? How did you get Blackwood? Um, This is not Blackwood. That's actually the back of these paintings. So you can see on this side, it's just nice. A nice painting. Very cool. On this side, however, it is a black wood, which is really, it's, it's a really nice trick you can use. You can, you can get kind of black wood. It's kind of hard to call it black wood just because... It's, uh, you know, you have to do a lot of special things for it. You can see that I had to glitch all of these in because one of these, you have to, you have to glitch it inside of other paintings in order for it to work because they're not on a stud ratio. So you have to glitch them inside of each other and if you don't want gaps like this. So... Yeah, you have to glitch them in. That That's w mainly why I did it like the way I did. Um, all, all just barely because I already had all of this glitched out of the way. So I just figured it might be good to just get all of these placed down right away. So yeah, guys, we got ourselves kind of the start of a road. So that is great news. Obviously, we got the spawner in. This is super awesome. Guys, when I spawn the truck, you can see that the truck goes perfectly over the conveyors. So... When the truck is here, all of the wood is going to fall into the truck, but but when the truck is not here, it's going to fall down onto the conveyors, and it's going to be transported somewhere else. So, um, there is one thing that I want to do, and that is to put hatches in here, like, right... I, I, I think I'm going to put them probably glitched inside of the conveyors again so that they will just like be sitting on top of the rollers so that when I am driving over it's not going to you know move me over and stuff like that it's, it's just better to have it covered when it's not in use so what we're going to have to do therefore is we're gonna have to get some hatches now it looks like the ferry is here let's just quickly go ahead and check how many we're gonna need so we're gonna need one for each conveyor I haven't put this conveyor in so we're gonna need one extra so one two three four five six Six. So we're going to need one for each side. So that's going to be six times two, which is 12. We're going to need 12 hatches for this. So let's go ahead and head over to the ferry. Hopefully he doesn't depart before I get to the ferry because that would kind of suck. But yeah, let's go ahead and go over here. Let's check how much time he has before he does depart. Okay, so we got two minutes. Let's just go ahead and I'm going to flip around and we're just going to wait for the ferry to depart. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the other side. Let's just go ahead and quickly grab 12 hatches from what are us or Link's Logic before they close because we don't want them to close. And we also don't want Hoover to depart. So we need to hurry up. Alrighty guys, that was 4,000, almost 5,000 lumber bucks just for that load. And now we need to get another one. So that's going to be around about 10,000. Alrighty guys, so that is the 12th conveyor, so so far it seems like it has been around about 10 grand that we have spent on this. 10 grand lumber bucks, that's a, that's a lot. Um, and then we're also probably going to need to grab a bunch of wires just so that I can hook up all of these. We're gonna need at least 12 of these for all of the hatches. Alrighty guys, that is about 12 wires. I think I got a little bit more than 12, maybe 13. It's, it's hard to say. But now let's just go ahead. I'm going to flip around my truck so I can get all of the items into the bed easier. So yeah, let's just go ahead and grab all of these, put these in the truck. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to say if we're going to miss the ferry, especially since now all of the items are kind of 
they're, they're, they're a bit laggy, they're glitching, and so I don't know, there's definitely a lot of stress right now because I need to get back to the ferry before it departs. Alrighty guys, we gotta get back to the ferry ASAP because he is probably about to leave or has already left, which would kind of suck if that were the case. But yeah, we gotta get all of these back on the ferry before he departs. Grab these, put those in. Okay, that is everything. Let's just go ahead and hop in the car, get as, get to the ferry as fast as possible. Is he? No, he's already he's already gone. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that was all. All of that stress was useless. Okay, so um, I guess. We also do need some uh, some birch wood, so might as well go ahead and grab some while we're waiting for the ferry to go all the way back over there and be there for like four minutes and then come back. Oh, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to grab a bunch of birch wood so we're not wasting time. It's very nice that birch wood spawns in the tropics biome because. I mean, it's just working out so perfectly. This is exactly what we need, and it happens to be where we get stranded. So, you know what? In some ways, it's kind of good that we got stranded, although I do know that he, the ferry is going to take a way longer than it's going to take me to grind all of this wood. Oh my gosh, what was that? Ho, 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 ho. Um... Well, at least we're not on a time limit, but yeah, it looks like all of my stuff is just glitched. Okay, well, um, I'm going to get myself out of this situation. Just glitch. I'm going to blueprint glitch so that all of these things aren't glitched into my truck. And now I guess we're just going to put all of our stuff back in the truck. Oh, that kind of sucks, but... Like I said, it's a good thing that we're not on a time limit and we're just kind of waiting for the ferry to arrive, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm not that mad, but, you know, it's just kind of annoying how that happens so much in Lumber Tycoon. You just you just be driving and all of a sudden all of your items decide, you know what, I don't want to be in this truck anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Goodbye. Okay, we got all of the stuff back in our truck. Now we're just, I'm just gonna sit at, at the dock and wait for the ferry because I don't want the same thing to happen again. So the less movement, the better. But I guess what we could do potentially is just chop down one of those koa trees back there. And we could just have that just just bring the entire thing onto the ferry just in case we need some more uh, some more koa wood in the future I mean we always need koa wood what am I saying koa wood is quite possibly one of the best woods in the game so yeah let's just go ahead and cut this tree down flip it over and get it as close to the dock before we start to uh, rip it up so yeah, that's that's probably close enough. So now we can just go ahead and chop this thing up. Oh, that didn't work. Man, look at the range on this thing. It's so ridiculous. I love the gingerbread axe so much. You can literally just stand back all the way back here and just be chopping. It's insane. Just stand back and let the, the axe do all the work. Jeez. Alrighty guys, it looks like the ferry has arrived, and I've gotten all of this koa wood. I'm just trying to bring as many pieces as I can over. Um, I'm trying to avoid pieces that might be a little bit too big, as they might not even fit into my sawmill. Which is just crazy, because I do have the biggest sawmill in the game, and yet some of these pieces might not actually fit. Just probably this one is the only one that is likely to be like that, but yeah. Alrighty guys, that is the last piece. I've gotten all of the koa wood onto the ferry. Now I'm just going to go ahead and drive my truck onto the ferry, and we are good to go until we get to the other side.
Alrighty guys, we have made it to the other side. Now we can just go ahead and run these to our base real quick. Get all of this wood into my sawmill as fast as possible. And obviously we can't sawmill the uh, the logic, so we're going to try to chuck them out of the truck before we unload. Alright, that is good enough. And now let's go ahead and unload real quick. Oops. Yep, this happens with the <laughs> very poor design that I... I mentioned that it's a very bad idea to do this in my video, but I also mentioned that I didn't have a choice. Um, basically what's happening here is that I used 1 slash 3 wedges instead of 1 slash 4 wedges and now I'm stuck. Yeah, it's just a little bit too steep. But hopefully that was good enough. Nope. Why, why are trucks in Lumber Tycoon front wheel drive? It is so annoying. Alrighty guys. I have gotten free. Okay, now let's try that again but with a little bit more force. There we go. Uh, it looks like another wire has just managed to escape and well that's not gonna work oops um we're, we're gonna have to go ahead and spawn it manually because i did rip out the wiring system for that so we need to just i guess use the uh the spawners button manually but yeah so that should be set to a storage size that's good that's good um before we handle all of that and get all that unclogged let's go ahead and go back over here whoa i was like what what is happening how does this guy have a car no that's just part of his avatar okay um so we got to go over to the the ferry before all of this starts you know before he leaves and i lose all of my wood that would kind of suck so yeah, let's just go ahead and get my truck. I don't want to park on the ferry just in case he leaves, but we do want to be able to get all of this wood easily into my truck. I don't necessarily need koa wood right now, but I mean, since I was already there and just waiting, I might as well get some just in case I need some in the future. Alrighty guys, we have gotten all of the koa wood and the ferry still hasn't departed, so that is awesome. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. What is happening? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, so we have lost the truck and all of our wood except for... Okay, okay. Note to self, um, don't park that close to the ferry. Okay, so we've, we've got one piece of wood left. That looks so stupid. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so I was just talking about how nice it was that I had all of this coal wood just in case, but I guess that is no longer the case. <laughs> just get to watch my truck just sit there on the edge of the ferry just welded to it for whatever reason. Oh my gosh, it's going so fast. Well, goodbye truck. Now I just have to walk home as my truck just leaves without me. I was literally just about to get into the... I, I think I was in the driver's seat. And <laughs> I guess I wasn't quite fast enough. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Okay, so this is what we got from that. One piece of coal wood. I guess something is better than nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Obviously all that wood is probably all stuck in the ocean by now, so it's really not worth trying to get. It'd probably take less time to go over to the tropics and get entirely new uh, koa wood as opposed to try to rescue that stuff. So yeah, um, this guy has just gotten teleported that reminds me I had my visits from anyone off just because I was going to the other island and I didn't want 
people messing with my stuff while I was gone, but now that is no longer the case, so yeah, I can turn that off. So yeah, now we just have to unclog our system over here. It just got a little bit clogged, but yeah, now it, now things are starting to get, go through. And then just like that, we got a bunch of birch wood. I'm going to actually take one of these pieces of birch and I'm going to put it through the sawmill system over here, and hopefully that will sawmill up because we do need some white wood over here. Oh. Oh, I see what's happening. I was like, why is it not going through? There is an ice axe here. A frost axe, rather. I don't know what this is. I suspect maybe what could have happened was someone could have died in my system and their items fell onto one of the conveyors down here and it got all the way through my sawmill and for some reason they were whitelisting me or something and it got saved to my base or something this could be mine I don't know I don't I don't recognize this frost axe so I don't know whose it was and yeah guys this should sh go to show how this system is going to work the pieces just fall down onto the conveyors and so far none of the pieces have bounced off and ended up on the road so that is great news that means that it's probably gonna work pretty well and we're gonna be able to use this super nicely so yeah um what we're going to do with this birch wood is we're, we're actually gonna have to go to a store because i don't have the blueprint for what we're going to be using it for but we we do need to get my truck which Oh, it might be coming back. I can't tell. Is it, nope, my truck is not there on the ferry, I don't think. Nope, my truck just got stranded on the other island, I guess. That is awesome. Oh, hello! Hi! What's up, sir? Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and we... Okay, I just realized, oh my gosh, it is getting uh, to be night. So we need to go across the bridge ASAP because we need to get to fancy furnishings actually and fancy furnishings has a tendency to close at night so we got to get over there as fast as possible and let's get over to fancy furnishings and try to buy this blueprint ASAP okay it is the thin county countertop that we need so let's just go ahead and buy this and just like that we have bought it so now we can just add that to our collection so it is under furniture we got ourselves a thin countertop so we're going to place one right here this is basically just going to be the gutter although i think it's going to be i don't know it's hard to tell do i want it to be on the same level as the road maybe a little bit lower but that that comes with its own set of problems although it would look a lot more like a gutter so let's see um Okay, so this is what it's going to look like if I have the countertops a little bit lower than the road. It, to me, it doesn't look very well. Oh, and that's also Z fighting, which we can't have. So yeah, what I'm going to do is instead of doing that, I'm actually going to have it one stud above. Uh, it's not very gutter like to be like that, but you know, I think it's going to just be very is gonna be a lot better You know aesthetically we gotta slide it over just like so and that is how the Countertops on these sides are going to look So that's basically why I've left uh, Gaps on either side is because they're gonna be covered up with the gutters So yeah, now we can just go ahead and fill all of these in with all of our birch wood and wow e does that look really good look at how nice this road is starting to look it is so cool look at that so let's go ahead and put these countertops on the other side we're actually gonna need some more birch wood so let's put some more to go through the system over here I'll just set that on the conveyor to be processed and now what I'm going to do is I, I guess I'm just gonna place down all of the countertops that we need alrighty guys so it looks like we have gotten all of the rest of the birch wood so now we can just go ahead and fill in the remaining blueprints just like so 
It is very nice to have a wood system. Um, so now I guess what we need to do is we actually need some snow glow wood. Um, snow glow wood is a hard one because it is very difficult to get. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just save myself the, the remorse. And I'm going to drop all of my axes besides my mini axe. Even though my most prized possession is my mini axe. It's kind of what we need for this. Actually, I could go ahead and grab a silver axe because I am terrified that I'm going to die. So I'm just going to grab myself a an axe like so. And let's just go ahead and open it and put it in our inventory. Now what we got to do is we got to get over to the snow glow biome. So how you do that is... Well, first of all, I'm going to get rid of my mini axe. Just put it on my base so that I don't lose it. Okay, um, so I'm just thinking about how I'm actually going to be able to get the wood back there. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to actually need a uh, long plank in order to do it. So let's just go ahead and cut down this tree. And I've just realized that I don't have my mini axe anymore and this is very slow. But yeah, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut down this tree real quick. And we're going to take just the stump because the stump is the only thing that's going to be able to get long enough for this. And I think that is about a good size. We still want to be able to stand on it. And now what we're going to have to do is... How are we going to be able to do this? I think I might have to move the sawmill. I don't really want to do that because I have wires going over it. And so, but my, my concern is that if we have a long plank going out here, it's going to hit here. And then if it doesn't hit, if, if we move this, then we're going to inevitably hit this. And I don't know. What we could do is we could actually direct it out the door that's probably our best bet so let's just try to get this into the sawmill and yeah now it's just going to make the longest plank you've ever seen in your entire life okay so now we just wait this is gonna take forever but yeah so basically once it gets to about this length we're gonna have to push it over so it's going to start going this way hopefully that'll work okay guys the plank has finally finished and my gosh, it has almost stretched all the way out to the road. My gosh, this thing is so long. And guys, it took so long to actually generate, like to actually sawmill all the way. It took like 15 or maybe even 20 minutes. You, you can see that it's like, yeah, see, the, the moon is going down. I, I started processing this before the sun had gone down and now the sun is probably coming up so an entire night that this thing took to generate so that is a lot of minutes that this took to generate but yeah um let's go ahead and get this further onto the base because this thing took so long to generate that now it is very late anyways yeah i gotta get to bed so i'll see you in the morning Alrighty guys, it is the morning now, so I am back, so I'm actually going to leave the uh, lumber yard completely destroyed. I had to do that so I could get the long plank to actually make it through, because otherwise it would be blocked and it would just glitch. So I had to rip apart the lumber yard, but just in case we need another long plank because it is very probable that we will lose this one I'm going to keep it so to get this snow glow wood we're going to have to take a truck although I think it might actually be better to get the XL because it is so much faster although it has a lot less storage capacity it is probably going to be better to have it because it is so much faster we're much less likely to die with it so let's go ahead and go over here and now now we just have to get over to that island right there so I'm just gonna go full force let's go 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 okay we are on our way we might die oh 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 we made it okay now we just have to wait on this island for us to heal and once we heal up we can go to the next island in the tunnel
Alrighty guys, we are pretty much completely healed. Yep, there we go. Now we just gotta go over here. Let's turn on the lights so we're not so lost. And we made it over to the other island over here. And now, I guess what we're going to do, we're gonna skip this island because we don't really need to get over to it. It might actually be backtracking to go over to there. We have to go over to an island. It's over there. I can't really see it from where I'm at. Yeah, right there. So we need to get all the way over there. It's, it's, I think this is the longest stretch. So it is the most likely that we will die here, but hopefully that won't be the case. Alrighty guys, that is completely healed. Alright, so now we just have to make our way over to this island. Are we gonna make it? Uh, that was not as bad as I thought. Okay, so now you can see the Tic Tac Warp Memorial. We're just gonna wait until we're completely healed again before we try getting over there. I don't think we have to be completely healed, but I just want to take it safe. But yeah, you can see all the snow glow wood in the Tic Tac Warp Memorial, and we need a bunch of that for what we're going to do. I, I don't know, we don't have a lot of space, but we're going to have to try to pack our truck as full as possible with the snow glow wood. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm a little bit tired of waiting and I know I can make it over there without dying. So yeah, that is perfect. Now we just have to go ahead and go over here, grab some snow glow wood. It's kind of hard to see what I'm cutting because it's so glowy. Luckily, snow glow wood is a very soft wood, so using this backup axe, I, I know for a fact that uh, a mini axe could one chop it, but using this silver axe, it's just so that we won't lose any axes that are of any value, it's definitely worth it to bring a silver axe into the snow glow biome. All right, I think that is enough snow glow, but before we leave, I just want to come over here and pay my respects to Tic Tat Wart. Uh, I, I miss her. She she was such a good YouTuber, one of the best Lumber Tycoon 2 YouTubers. She's one of the reasons why I even have a channel in the first place. She inspired me a lot to pursue Lumber Tycoon, and so this goes to you, Tic Tat Wart. Rest in peace. All right, let's let's go over to my truck and get all of this wood back into the water, I guess. We got to go over to this island over here. We won't lose too much health and then we can get over there. All right, we are completely healed pretty much. So now we can go over to the next island. Try not to lose any of this wood. All right, now we just have to wait for our health to heal for the final time. And then we just have to get over to that island right outside of the river tunnel. All right, guys, we are completely healed. And now we just have to make it over to the final island over here. Are we going to make it? Yes, we are. Okay, we got all of the wood here. And now, how are we going to get over to the base? I think we're going to have to reset. That was weird. We, it looked like we dropped two axes there for a second. All right, so we are back at the base. And now we just got to get this massive long plank over across the bridge and onto a mountain which is going to be a real pain because long planks are just the worst to try to deal with like you can see this one is already being very annoying and something else is that i have to go very soon for an appointment and yeah this thing is probably going to make me late for that <laughs> because yeah, long planks just suck. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and lower the bridge real quick. Awesome. Oh no, <laughs> I'm kind of trapping this guy. I don't, I don't, I, I guess he just drove right over it. But yeah, so what we need to do is we need to get this thing over to that mountain over there. It might be actually faster to just walk it over there, to be honest, because I don't know. <laughs> the long planks just suck. Okay, so... As you can see, these are so annoying. Let's just get it onto the truck. 
and hopefully that will be good enough. I really don't want this thing to glitch out on the bridge because otherwise it's probably gonna end up in the water if that happens. So, oh no, 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 no. We don't want to lose this long plank. It was way too much of a pain to get. So yeah, okay, we got it. I'm just gonna walk it like this as, oh no, 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 do not. Okay, don't glitch it out, please, for the love. You can you can go now. He's just kind of sitting there. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, yep. You go. You go along. I'm Why are you why are you here still? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, besides that, we've we're just going to walk this over here. Getting it across the bridge okay I think we are almost to the safety zone where this thing is not very likely to glitch out into the water so that is awesome and I guess this guy is just going to follow me and maybe try to glitch out my plank which I really don't want to happen okay so we just gotta get this up onto the hill up there so we can walk it up Alrighty, there we go. So we got ourselves a plank all the way up here. So now we just gotta walk up. And now we just gotta rotate it and get it up over. No, 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 no. We don't want to lose it. Just get it on over. And there we go. We, we have secured it. Now we just gotta get it up onto this hill right here. And just like that, we've gotten our long plank up here, and now comes the most stressful part, which is... F oh, oh, no, 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 okay. Um, that didn't work. Um, the most stressful part is trying to get it down onto the island, which is going to be a real pain, but uh, uh, first of all, before we do that, we gotta put this back up onto the hill because it fell, just like that, and there we go. Now, do not fall. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Like I said, this thing is going to make me so late for my appointment. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now I'm just going to try rotating it all the way around. Okay, that worked. We got it. Perfect. Okay, now we just got to get this thing down onto the island without losing it, which is... Oh, where we're probably going to mess up because that is just the most likely to happen. Alright, so yeah, you can see we got all of the wood down there, and we just gotta get this long plank from here to up here so we can get all of the wood up onto this ledge, and that way we can walk it all the way over to the bridge, but yeah, so we just gotta drop this thing down in a way that is not going to result in its glitching out or anything, which is very stressful. No, 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 no. Okay, we lost it. Hopefully it doesn't fall too far into the ocean, and so far it is working out just perfectly. We can just drop it like that. Perfect! Oh my gosh, we got it. Okay, so is that, that's not far enough up, is it? Yeah, no, it isn't. We just gotta kind of nudge it over. Okay, no, 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 no. We don't want to, no, stop, stop, stop it! No, 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 no. Long planks are the worst. Come on. Like that. Perfect, I think. Okay, let's just get up here and see where that leaves us. That leaves us right here. Okay, I think that's probably fine, to be honest. As long as the plank is there, we're just going to get all of our wood up onto that ledge. So let's just walk it up one by one. Alrighty guys, this is the last piece of wood. I'm just going to retrieve this axe. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Probably just give it to a noob. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and take this last piece of wood up the long plank. And then we got to figure out how we're going to get all of the wood up onto this ledge. Usually what I do is I take one of the pieces and I just stack it vertically like this. And then it kind of provides a stepping stone that I can then use to get all of the pieces on there. So yeah, um, I think that's going to be what we're going to do. Otherwise, we could just cut a piece off of this but 
Uh, that seems really hard, to be honest, so I'm just going to do it this way. Alrighty guys, that is the last piece, if I can get it up without losing it. Oh, this is hard. Okay, last piece. No, stop it. There's too many things up there. Now it's just piling up. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that's not working out very well, is it? Okay, well, let's just try to jump up here and move all of these out of the way so we can get the last piece. We should be able to get it up there without no problems. Okay, so now... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is... Why is the last piece being so... I had no problems up until this point. Oh my gosh, just go up. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got ourselves the pieces. Uh, I don't know if I can reach that, I don't know. We could try trying to grab it as we are jumping, but honestly, it's the last piece, so... Yeah, we're just gonna leave it there. It's, it's probably fine. We got enough pieces as it is, so we're just gonna leave a piece right there. And now we just gotta move all of these pieces all the way as far as we can get them over to the bridge so but yeah for now we're just gonna fling all of the pieces Okay guys, that is the last of the wood, now we just gotta reset real quick, and then we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves a truck and we can retrieve all of this, so I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a long truck, holy, there is so much lag. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and grab myself a long truck real quick, and we're gonna go across the bridge, and hopefully, oh my gosh. I don't know what to do about that, but that's a very exploited base right there. That is all gray wood. Okay, but anyways, yeah. That's probably why I was experiencing lag now that I think about it. But yeah, um, anyways. Um, is this guy... Yeah, that, that guy's... That guy's speed hacking. Alrighty, guys, he just left. Obviously, I couldn't leave, so I just blacklisted him and waited for him to leave, and finally he did. So now we can go ahead and grab our wood without fear of him completely destroying our base and whatnot. So, yeah, let's retrieve the axe and make sure that we claim all of this wood before someone else comes along and claims all of this wood that we tried so hard to get. We put a lot of effort into this, and we have finally been able to grab ourselves some yellow wood so this is awesome alrighty guys now we can go ahead and move all of this wood across the bridge and get this into our sawmill finally alrighty we are at the base now we can just go ahead and grab or put this in my sawmill this time I'm going to speed up it so that we don't get stuck and now we just have to press this button and then quickly run over to this button because uh, I think I'm gonna have to like glitch some wires into there so that we can actually get this working without it looking <laughs> terrible. Oh, no, 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 no. We do not want that to be that setting. Okay. Um, I guess we're gonna have to deal with 1.2 by 1.2 because... Okay, so now I guess we have a bunch of people over here. That's kind of cool, I guess. Are they wanting to... Yeah, they, they want to buy from me. Um, unfortunately, I have to go after this. Um, okay, there is all of our yellow wood. It's very long. It's in a weird ratio. I, I, I had to do something really fast because, yeah, this was not set to a good setting. 
but yeah, um, we actually got one that managed to escape as a long plank because we obviously had to build or process out a long plank to get this wood and I just never updated the sawmill so now we have just small pieces but yeah that should be sufficient for what I need it for so that is awesome and I think all of this wood should be able to fit into the processor so that is good as well but for now I have to go I have to leave for a second so I'll be back Alrighty guys, I am back. I had a little bit of surgery that had to be done, but I am done with that, and I, I think I'm pretty much all recovered now, so now what I can go ahead and do is go across the bridge, because we need some walnut wood. I don't think we have much. Oh, we, we actually have some walnut wood. I, I was not expecting us to have walnut wood, but we totally have some walnut wood on the shelves over here, so might as well go over here and grab some more. And now that I look at it, I guess we have a ton of koa wood, so trying to even retrieve all that koa wood wasn't necessarily very uh, smart of me, but you know what, it's fine. Alright, so now we just have to wait for all of this to process through the sawmill system. I guess we had a bit more of this wood also here. Alrighty guys, so we have gotten a bunch of walnut wood all processed up. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but we also need to process some of this, uh, this snow glow wood that we just got. So yeah, hopefully this will fit into the sawmill. It looks like it will probably be short enough that, oh, oh, actually... I didn't realize this. We actually have a smaller sawmill up here. I, I never realized that. I thought we had the longest sawmill up here. So maybe that won't actually be long enough. Or, oh, I guess it is long enough to process that piece of wood. Okay, that is awesome. So now we can... I guess we're going to have to cut some of these uh, in order for them to work in the sawmill. But yeah. Alrighty, so basically that is pretty much good enough for now, I think. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to place a bunch of these wedges and we're just going to basically fill them all with some snow glow wood. Alrighty, so now that we've gotten all of these wedges, now we're just going to fill the other ones with some walnut wood. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And now basically we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Um, you might be asking why I am being so inaccurate with my placement. It's actually because this is not the final place that I'm going to have them. I'm actually going to place them right next to this one. This one is actually a wedge that is a 1 slash 4 by 1 wedge. It's just glitched into all of these things. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for all of these. So they will be nice and flush with every thing so yeah now we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side and then we're gonna have to get our alt in here so that we can glitch it in alrighty guys so we got the other side completely finished so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and it will all be glitched in and nice and fine obviously I didn't do a very good job over here of keeping it all nice and fine because once again this isn't the final place they're gonna be I'm gonna glitch them all to be on the same level as this one right here so that it's nice and flush because obviously as we've already been over in this episode I cannot record with my alt because it gets way too laggy for the recordings so I, I don't want to put you guys through that so with that said I'm going to cut and it will all be done Alrighty guys, so we have now gotten all of the wedges inside of the road, so now they look kind of like warning barriers or like a speed bump. That's kind of what I was going for, so yeah, so it's kind of like caution tape to allude to the fact that there is a bump right here and now what we have to do is we have to glitch in some hatches into here so that they will block the conveyors from being exposed and then we need to get wires on each of the the uh, hatches glitched inside of the uh, wedges I think we're gonna have to do so that we can actually activate them without having exposed wires so let's go ahead and quickly do that again this is gonna require a lot of glitching inside of each other so I don't know if I can really record that so I'll be back when that is done 
Alrighty guys, so I have my alt account and my main account side by side and it turns out that this is actually not nearly as laggy as I was thinking because I actually found out that if I go into a private server it gets a lot better. So yeah, I'm basically kind of able to show you the process. We've done this before in previous episodes, but yeah. I'm basically just making all of the wedges disappear on my alt account so that I can place wires and stuff inside of them and obviously I got the hatches inside of the conveyors already so that is awesome. Now I just need to do a bunch of wiring and that requires me getting these wedges out of the way. Alrighty guys, I got all of the wedges out on my alts client, which means now I can just put all of the wires in in place and they'll be inside of all of the wedges, which means that they will be completely hidden. Okay, I've gotten both sides hooked up. Now I just need to connect the two sides together. And there we go, both sides are hooked up. And now I'm just going to test it, and yeah, it looks like it is all working when I press the button. So now I can hook it up to a lever, although I think I might have to run over to the store and get one, because I don't think I have one. Lever acquired, and I think this is a good spot for it. So now we just need to, I, I think I'm going to actually, I'm going to hide the wires inside of the wall, so... I'm just going to make the wall and probably the ground to disappear. Alright, now I can just run this wire inside of the wall and underneath, under the floor. Uh, let's actually make sure that that's straight so that it won't show through. And that looks good. And let's just connect that to all of the hatches right here. And now we can just go ahead and test it and... Oh my gosh, you can see on my on my main account how awesome that looks. Obviously, you can't see anything on my alt account because everything is not there. But on my main account, oh my gosh, that looks so sick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, you can see that when it is on, you can put stuff onto this conveyor. And when it is off, you can just drive over it and not have to deal with all of the bumping. So yeah, that is dope. Okay, so next what we have to do is I'm just going to go ahead and quickly rewire the spawner for my truck so that we can actually unload and it will work instead of having to run over to the button. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. And there we go, that should be exactly where we need it. That should be like inside of the button. Hopefully that's not showing through yet, yeah, it, it isn't, so yeah. That is awesome. Now we just have to test it and see if it is working. All right, yeah, it is working. That is awesome. You can just unload and you don't see any of the wires going up to the spawner. It just works. It's it's kind of like if you were wiring a home. You, w you don't see all of the wires that are connected to all your light switches and everything. That's kind of what this is like and it is it feels amazing. It's so cool to have everything just work like that. So, what what is the purpose of this? It kind of it kind of goes to nothing right now you see we have stuff that just you know it, it just goes there <laughs> there's not much of a point well, well we'll get to that in a second but first of all look at that you can just have items on the conveyors and then just interrupt where they're going you just press this lever and Yep, they, they just immediately go up. That's so cool. Okay, anyways, um, what I was going to say was that we need to... We, we need to rip this, this floor out, actually. Which is kind of sad because we have a bunch of stuff right here. I don't want to really mess with the shop too much. But we are going to have to kind of cut into it a little bit. Because we need to actually have this conveyor system go actually somewhere so um we're gonna go over here we bought a bunch of conveyors if you remember not just the straight ones but we have a few others as well and hopefully that won't be an issue it kind of cuts in but hope I, I don't think that's gonna be a problem oh looks like someone is trying to say hi what's up what's up coco all right so um let's see we want a straight conveyor over here so that we can place one right here. Okay, he's just asking for money. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to place this right here. And that is perfect. 
All right, so now what we are going to do is we are going to basically just put a bunch of conveyors going up and if I'm being honest, I don't really have a plan after that. I don't really know what to <laughs> what to do. Okay, I told him very, uh, I, I struggled with my <laughs> typing, but I told him that he can have money for free if he works for me. I don't know, he could get me some wood. I just think that it's pretty boring to play a game if you aren't actually working for your money, so... Alrighty guys, we have placed in all of the blueprints in there, the uh, those floors that I had moved previously over here, so now they are relocated back there, and hopefully that will make it look a little bit more seamless. So now I need to decide if I want to do this with hatches. That would be very difficult with a turn conveyor, in fact, I think that's kind of impossible. So yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to install a bridge right here, so for that we're going to need pine wood okay yeah like I th just as I thought he has left so I think he got intimidated by my request to actually work for the money and he just left because that is too much work I guess um so yeah that's cool but yeah um I I think that is pretty much it for this video because it is getting very long and so it is time to end it unfortunately thank you guys so much for watching this video and yeah i'll see you in the next video once it's out see ya